spawned in on customs with just the knife. I was trying to do the Tiger Safari quest where you have to use the markers to mark the cars for the quest for Peacekeeper. I, I He wants these cars marked and they're called Tigers. But the problem was I forgot my markers. And I was struggling here to figure out why it wasn't working, but I guess I just forgot them. So I decided to just make a, make a hatchet run out of this, or a knife run. I don't have a hatchet. I think the knife's cooler. Your main objective when you only have a knife is to try and kill a scav. You want to get a gun, and scavs have guns. Scavs are much easier to kill than players. And once you have a gun, you're actually a threat compared to just a hatchling against someone with Ford armor. That scav was pretty clueless. And let me hit him in the back of the head without even shooting at me. It's only one shot to the head to kill a scav. Unless he had a helmet. If he had a helmet, it would have taken a couple more swings. Now we have an AK. Pretty armed and dangerous. After finding a Makarov and TT ammo in the marked room, I decided to go to the nade car, because the nade car is probably one of the best things to loot on this map. You get a ton of nades most of the time. Sadly, this time I had no nades. And as I was about to loot it, I heard a hatchling. I knew he was a hatchling because of how fast he was running. I just needed to find him. I don't know what he's swinging at. He's probably mad I already looted the marked room. He opened the top floor. Now, I have no idea how that happened. Um, I thought he was below me. And then he what? just ran through. Yeah, I, I agree. That was weird. So I kept moving through the map. Found these piles of bodies. Two Usex and a couple of scavs. I didn't hear any other shots, though. So now I've got a pretty good backpack to at least loot some stuff. It's not as good as a tricep, but third best backpack in the game. Scav bag won't do bad. You can carry one or two full-size rifles, depending on how you break them down. So now I've realized that someone killed those dudes, and I'm kind of paranoid at this point. I'm looking all over the place, just making sure no one's right around the corner. I wasn't really expecting to see anyone. Figured that whoever killed them must have been at the beginning of the raid, and he's already out of here. Till I peek this corner. And there he is. Now, he only fractured my leg. I, I go into this bush because I was. I figured I was pretty hurt, but he really didn't do much damage to me. I knew I got a lot of good hits on him, though. I don't know if you can see, but he was definitely wearing a Ford armor and a helmet. So I just hide in this bush. It gets pretty boring. And about a minute into the bush hiding, he gets into a fight with two other guys. Which was a perfect distraction for me to move up. I figured he was much more hurt than me. Considering he didn't push me, he was kind of scared of me. Or maybe he thinks that these guys he's fighting right now are me, and that everyone's dead. Trying to move up, not hitting any bushes. I just saw him, too. There he is. He's creeping on these guys. I wait to get the perfect shot. Ooh. And he dropped within like three shots. Just creeping around, making sure everyone's dead. He was clearly clearly involved in a pretty pretty good fight. And sure enough, at this point, I realized everyone was dead. 
and that there was three fully geared dead bodies in front of me. All just coming in with a hatchet. And this wasn't just like I came across some guy. I, I actually did kill someone. I killed the guy who killed these two guys. See what they had? Oof. For anyone new to the game, this is quite a bit of gear right here. Two suppressed M4 or er, AKs. M4s are much more. I wish they were M4s. Just AKs. Now this was the guy that I killed. Ooh. Yeah. I was pretty ecstatic when I saw that Ford hey, armor. Rick. If I can get out of here. It's got a pretty nice AK. Three suppressed AKs. And a free Ford armor. Those are not my bolts and screws. Why does this guy have so many bolts? That that was from the other guy's body that I found to get this backpack. And yeah, that's basically how to go from a hatchet to Ford armor and three AKs. I mean, it's not an M4, but you know, still pretty good. Still pretty good. So I just figured I'd get the hell out of here. I looted everything I wanted to loot. Maybe one of them had some extra meds or something. Pretty sure that was one of them trying to play her scab back in. Luckily that AK is just a monster. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this raid. I was just trying to do my mission. I was going to back out after I marked the cars. And I don't, I don't know what's going on here. This guy's like lagged out or something. But yeah, made it to the extract. Unlike those guys. I don't know. Fools. Usex. Usex are always fools. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not a I'm not a racist. But yeah, that was a pretty good raid. I, I only got two player kills. Looted probably six dead players. That's another good strat is to loot dead players. Wait for the battle to unfold. And then uh yeah. Get a gun, get their get the scavenges from the dead people around the map and you won't be a hatchling for long. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more stuff.